Hey guys, welcome me and I'm Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And in today's video, actually, today's video is going to be like a, a three for. I'm actually doing three videos today and I figured, well, I was going to do two and I figured I needed to put makeup on anyway. So I thought, you know, why not just record myself putting on makeup, just a simple get ready with me. Talk to you guys about the products that I'm using. These are the products that I use on a regular basis, like every time I put makeup on pretty much. Um, I might get a little bit, um, what's the word? Uh creative and switch out one of my palettes. I typically always use my uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette just because it's easy. It's like two shadows and it's done. Um, but I don't know. One of the videos that I want to do today, hopefully, fingers crossed, is um, I want to show you uh, my makeup cleansing balm. Um, well, not my makeup cleansing balm, the pharmacy's. Um, is it Clean Apple? cleansing balm. I've been meaning to show you guys for such a long time, but I haven't got around to it yet. So maybe I want to like put some extra makeup on just so I can show you how well that works. But any hoosies, I thought that we could just put some makeup on, talk some shit. Um, yeah. And if you're interested in seeing that or you're just here to support me, thank you very much. I appreciate everything. And let's just get straight into the video. Welcome back guys. All right. Once again, School holidays, they're still here. They're almost over. Just a couple more days, depending on when you see this. Maybe they're already back at school. Who knows? So if you hear noises in the background, it is most likely my five-year-old. Um, he just loves to make lots of noises when he knows I'm recording. So any hoosies. Uh, I will try and remove as much as I can, preferably not with any annoying background music, but I will do my best and I apologize in advance if that's what happens. First things first, skincare. I always put skincare on before my um, foundation because I don't use a primer, well at least not now anyway. I just don't find that primers really work for me. They tend to either pill up on my skin or just, they just don't work. So ordinarily, first thing in the morning, I would have already done my skincare. So I would have ordinarily, or I would have ordinarily already done the Ordinary Buffet Serum and I would have followed that up with Ole Henriksen, the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This one is the one that I'm loving at the moment. In fact, I love both of these. Um, I used to use in the mornings um, just my regular um, Clinique uh, moisturizer, but I didn't find that that was doing enough. So I have added in a... Um, a multi-peptide serum in the morning as well as a peptide moisturizer in the morning and in the evening I do my retinol and just a basic moisturizer. Now normally when I come in and do my makeup I wouldn't do um, my serum and the um, Ole Henriksen one. I would normally do something basic like the CeraVe moisturizing cream which is fine as well. It's fine, it works, it's got ceramides in it. I do like this. I just don't find it as um, luxurious on the skin, I guess. Like, it doesn't feel as bougie, I guess, as the Ole Henriksen one does. Um, but it is very gentle. It's um, non-scented, rubs in quite easily. It's on my skin later that night when I go and wash it off. I can still feel it. Really good stuff. But that's not what oh, we're not using this one this morning because I haven't done my morning routine, even though it is lunchtime. My bad. So let's get this hair out of the way for now. And we will start with just putting on some serum. So just, I'm not going to be able to show you too well, just a dribble. And, um, you know, I am pretty rough. I shouldn't be. I should just gently do all of this. But a lot of the time I'm in a rush. I'm just going to pat that on and bring it, the rest down my neck. Um, if my skin goes red, it's not a reaction to the product. If I touch my face, if I even so much as look at my face in the mirror, it's going to go red. So ignore that. I don't have a reaction to any of the products that I'm going to be using today. Um, and just for those newbies, um, I have very sensitive skin, eczema prone skin, dry, dehydrated. It, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. I've probably actually used just a little bit too much. So you do not need that much um, of this moisturizer. Yeah, I have certainly used way too much, but that's okay. I got distracted. We'll just rub that in. But yeah, so I don't like, um, I don't like, what are they called again? Primers. I don't like primers. I just don't, I don't think they work. I love the smell of this stuff. I guess if I had like, um, large pores or something like that, a pore filling one, I would definitely try, but I don't have that problem. Um, I find actually that primers, well, they're pretty much just like expensive, um, 
moisturizers, at least the ones for my skin type anyway. Um, yeah, I've got nothing else to say about that. I love the smell of this moisturizer. It's like, it's citrus, um, but it's not like bam in your face, squirty lemon. It's like, um, I don't know, lemon sherbet, but not as aggressive as sherbet. <laughs> Any hoosies, let's do that. That's out of the way and done. Feeling very, very nice, very refreshed, very hydrated. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do at the moment is uh, I'm going to do foundation. Now I am currently mixing two foundations together. I am mixing the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade 05 Breeze. And I'm mixing that with a little bit of the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation in N1. So I mix these two together. Um, kind of, I would say 40, 60, um, just because of my shade match at the moment. We are in winter and um, yeah. And I've got to say, I like both of these foundations for different reasons. This one is a little bit more full coverage, but I can't stand this like doe foot. It looks like um, you get a lot of uh, foundation out of the tube when you're putting it on your face. You don't. It's annoying as hell. I hate this. I would have much preferred to either um, tip it out uh, or um, have a pump. I would prefer a pump. And um, I'm gonna, it's got a ring in there. Um, to, I don't know. To, to help wipe it off the brush or something. I don't know. But i got to take that off because it's really freaking annoying. Any hoosies, I will start putting some of this on my face. All right, now typically I use a sponge, but because I'm mixing these two together, it's just easier to just blot it on. I'm just gonna use a mirror actually. Just easier to blot it on with a brush to start off with and then go in with my sponge. This is a real Techniques brush. It's all I use it for. I don't really like brushes. They have a tendency to um, make my skin all flaky um, and I'm not here for that. Just put a bit down there. So what I do use is this um, Ella Cosmetics sponge. This one's a little old, I've got to admit, i got to buy some more. They are relatively cheap. I think you get two for $30. Um, I mean, I know you can find cheaper, but guys, this is, this is the best. This is smooth, soft, plump. Um, I've had this for so long, it just, I don't know. It just works. It doesn't, it's not the same as the cheap and nasty um, one, two dollar sponges that you can get from Kmart or the Reject Shop or anything like that. Anyway, let's get this on before it sort of dries down. So, get a bit on my brush. I love this and um, it is the best sponge that I have used to date. Um, I think it's better than the Real Techniques sponges. I haven't tried... Um, that really expensive one. Why? Why can't I? Why can't I remember the name of that? Hmm. Anyway, beauty blender. I've never tried a beauty blender before. Um. But yeah, I like this. I really, really do. I think it's beautiful the way that it that it works. Well, I'm looking very pale at the moment. Oh well, we can fix it up with some bronzer. I need to get a new foundation very soon. These two are going to run out very soon and I'm kind of over it. Like, you know, you know, you find something that you like, but you kind of get bored of it. That's where I'm at. I'm bored of it. I want to try something new. I don't know what I want to try. Feel free. Throw some suggestions down in the comments because I just don't know. No, that'll be enough. Now, that'll do for now. While I have um, cream on my face, I'm now going to go to um, sculpting a bit. I have this uh, Mecha Max, uh, hmm, this Mecha Max chubby stick. I can't remember the name of it. If I can remember or I'm going to be bothered, I'll, I'll list it down here below. This is in medium. I love this thing. Just wind her up and um, I'm going to, I'm going to sculpt my face a little. So here we go. It really does blend beautifully. I'm just gonna sculpt my nose just a little bit. Get rid of a little bit of this cheeky double chin. All right. I don't like really, really obvious sculpting, um, but this is beautiful. I love this. I've been wanting to try the uh, the Fenty um, I think it's a bronzer, but there's a shade there, the um, lightest shade that can be used as a contour. 
Um, I would love to get my hands on that. It's just become available um, again at Mecca. It's always sold out, um, which is really disappointing. You can see a little bit of cheekbone there. Maybe I'll do just a little bit more right there. But yeah, I love this stick. I think I even paid $12 for it too. Don't quote me, I don't remember. But um, it wasn't enough to wasn't enough to make me cringe, so I love that. I do want to try the, um, they have a highlighter and they have a, a blush as well. In fact, I think they might even have a couple of blushes now since uh, I brought this. I, I don't know, but I do want to try them because I really do like this. I um, want to get into some more cream sort of products. I'm really loving those lately. So, next we're going to go on to um, bronzing. Actually, I might... I might just set under my eyes just a little bit um, with this uh, Hourglass Ambient Diffuse Light, just a little bit. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna get some creasing. I'm just gonna use my sponge to, to get a little bit on there. I'm gonna get creasing anyway, guys. I'm 36 and I've got very significant um, crepey under eyes, like fine wrinkles, I don't know why. Whatever. <laughs> I guess I should have wore uh, sunglasses more when I was younger or not rubbed my face as much. I was pretty aggressive on my own skin when I was younger and not much I can do about it now. Anyway, let's move on. I have this NARS uh, Laguna bronzer. This is pretty new to my collection, but I love this shit. If you've watched any YouTube videos, makeup YouTube videos, you know what this is. They've recently come out with a cream bronzer and I just, oh, like I brought this um, as they were releasing the cream um, bronzer and I'm like, no. Because this isn't cheap and neither is the cream bronzer in my opinion like for my budget. It's not cheap and I'm like I Don't want to I don't like waste. I I, I, I cull everything um, in my house except for my Chucky dolls <laughs> um, I cull everything in my house because I don't like clutter. I don't like waste um, And if somebody else can get something out of it, then why not? Anyway, um, I'm gonna use this. What is this brush? This is a glam by Manicure All Over Powder Brush. I'm gonna use that to bronze um, just a little bit. I think I end up using more bronzer um, than I realize, to be honest with you, because I just like, I like the effect that it gives me. This hair is getting everywhere. All right. I don't know. I'm not a bronze person, guys, but um, I love, I love what this does to my skin. I'm going to try to brush a bit on my nose as well. Just a little bit. A bit more on my head, I think. Yep. Beautiful hair. We are going to have words. <laughs> uh, so yeah, school holidays is almost over and I love having the kids home, but to be honest with you, I really do like having some space as well because we've got we've got three teenagers at home and a five-year-old. So it can be a bit much sometimes and I can never find a good time to record, especially over school holidays. That is looking fine. I don't mind that. We're gonna move to um we're gonna move to blush actually, and I have got the Jouer um Adore Duo which has Adore Me and Hold Me. So it's got these two here. And I used to just like um, brush over both of those and then blah, blah, blah. but I've really been enjoying um, Adore Me lately. So I'm just going to use that one. Um, and you know, I'm actually gonna use the same brush. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use the same brush. Really need to clean these two. Um, it's been a while, it's been too long. All right, I'm just gonna very, very lightly on the high sort of points of my cheek. I don't like to bring it down too much. Maybe just a bit over my nose. Just gonna dust that brush off just a little bit. Give it a good going over. Like I like to wear makeup and I like to wear makeup to the point where it's definitely obvious, but not like where people are going, she's got a bit too much on, you know? Um, and sometimes I go overboard. But yeah, I absolutely love this blush. Um, I, I don't think it's too aggressive. You can go light on, you can add more on. It's just very, very easy to use, very easy to blend out. Um, and yeah, I've been meaning to get some more of these. The only thing I don't like about it is this um, covering, like this image that's on the top, it has a tendency to 
try and peel off. You're probably not going to be able to see that, but like within a week of me having it, it tried to peel off and that kind of pissed me off a little bit. But other than that, this is absolutely lovely. I love these guys. I will I'll at least this. And um, yeah, I think that looks quite nice. It always looks more aggressive in the viewfinder than it does in real life. I don't know, but when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, this looks nice. Any hoosies, let's move on. The next thing, what are we going to do next? Should we do, should we do highlighter? All right, I haven't done highlighter in a while, so we might actually do it. I mean, since I'm doing a makeup removing video later, I may as well put it all on, right? So we're going to use another NARS product. Um, we are going to use the NARS Fort de France. Um, stunning, guys. Absolutely stunning. Love this. And I am just going to brush that right here. A little bit here. Put it on the bridge of the nose. Maybe on the tip. Probably overkill, maybe just a little bit here. I don't know. Don't know if you can even see that, to be honest with you. But I can, and it's enough, and I like it. I love it, actually. A little bit on the... What is that? What's that called again? It's not the bridge of the mouth. The bow? Hm. I don't know. A little bit there. And let's move on. That is highlighter. Love, love, love. We're going to do the eyebrows next. Now... I have three eyebrow products, I'm not going to use them all, but I have three that I sort of swap between. I have this e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil, which I have had for quite some time. There we go. And um, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And then I went out recently and I brought the Price... Pricely... Precisely My Brow, which is this really, really sort of thin micro... There is a micro hair on it. Um, micro pencil and I'll tell you what if I try and use this without first putting on a base like if I just want to do brows and that's it for the day I don't like this it's it's tuggy it's I don't know I mean I can I can get it done but if I just want to have brows for the day I probably wouldn't pick this I would probably pick the elf um, instant lift brow pencil but when I do have a base on or like I have some moisturizer on or something like that then this precisely my brow works fabulous um, I can do tiny strokes I can fill in I can sculpt all sorts of things but for the price between these two, like if I was to have to pick again, I would just go back to getting this one. I think this one is perfectly fine. They both have spoolies. Um, this one I paid, I think, there's hair everywhere. This one I paid $8 for, and this one um, I paid way too much for. I can't actually remember. I'll put it on the screen somewhere with these two. Mm. But yeah, I, don't get me wrong. I think these are both wonderful. They both have a place here in my heart. But um, if like I was on a budget or whatever, uh, I would definitely go with this one because I think this one can do just as well as this one. It just it just doesn't do um, very easily uh, fine sort of like hairs at the front if you want to do that. But I don't really care about that. Um, yeah, love them both. But I use them alongside this um, Elizabeth... Elizabeth Mott, Queen of the Fill Brow Filler. And the reason why is that I use these, obviously, to sculpt a little bit um, and to draw the tail, really, of my eyebrows because they are, they're almost invisible. And then I go in with this to do most of the filling. I don't like blocky kind of brows. I really do like sort of like natural looking brows. I can't always achieve that. Um, but yeah, I just pretty much use these to define, add a couple of like um, hair strokes if I need to. But this here mostly is what I use because I do have the brow hairs there. You just can't see them. It's like my brow goes halfway, you know, natural color. And then it's like, hey, let's just go like blonde. I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So what I'm going to do today, I reckon I'm probably just going to use the e.l.f. Um, instant Brow Lift Pencil, and then I'm going to go in with the um, Queen of the Fill, but I don't like to do my brows on camera. We'll see how we go. Maybe I'll leave it in, maybe I won't, but we'll see. We are going to go with eyes now. I don't know what to do. Like, ordinarily I would do, um, like I said, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, but I've also got the Jeffree Star Jewel Breaker palette. I haven't been using my other palettes, not in a long time. Like, it's been this every time. And I've got several palettes, and I'm like, mm, you know, you got to use it before you lose it. And this is a very colourful palette. I love all of these colours. I love all of these colours, and I want to use everything. But 
I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a makeup artist. Like, I, most of the time I end up making myself look like Bobo the Clown. Mm. I don't know, guys. I reckon I'm probably going to. Oh, gosh, there's some colours here. I just, mmm. There's an orange here, and I don't know why I'm gravitating towards this orange, but I really want to use it. I think I'm going to. I think we're going to do an orange look today. This could look completely disgusting. Ah, uh -huh. whatever. Let's do it. But before that, I am going to put on this um, MAC Painterly Pop oh, Pro Longwear Paint Pot and MAC. Jeez, could I say that any more awkward? Anyway, I'm just going to use my finger. I'm just going to put this down as a bit of a base because I like it. It works. And it does extend my makeup. I know that now. Um, tested it enough now to prove that the YouTube videos are right. Definitely worth it. This stuff lasts forever too, so if you're worried about the cost of it, trust me. If you only put on makeup, you know, even if you put on makeup every single day, this is going to last you a long time. I really don't use much at all. I mean, I've had this for nearly a year now and I've, I've barely skimmed the surface of it. So it definitely is worth its price tag if you're worried about that. Um, it'll This will outlive its, its lifespan, whatever you're supposed to keep it for. I don't know. I'll... I'll keep it until it smells funny or it, or it dries out. I don't really care. <laughs> anyway, um, there's that. We are going to go in with, what am I going to do first? I don't, I think I'm going to use the, um, the Too Faced palette. There is, um, uh, white chocolate right here. I think I'm going to use that, um, just to set a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to do, um, in the crease but I might use that just to set it just a little bit just gotta find the right brush so just a little bit of the white chocolate just to tap 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 I'm trying to use the viewfinder here it's so not easy all right Put the Too Faced palette down, Tanya, and pick up Jeffree Star. Man, this is intense. This, what am I going to do? All right, what should I do? Should I put, <sighs> let's just pick up some of that orange. Um, what brush are we going to use? Oh, we're going to use this um, Spectrum A12 brush and hope it doesn't steer me wrong. And we are just going to load that up, maybe tap a bit off. I have to use my mirror here, guys. And we are just going to right in there and just start sweeping that across. Isn't that a beautiful colour? I mean, it's not. I mean, I'm going to layer it up. But isn't that absolutely stunning? Oh, let's just put it all over the lid. <laughs> Radio 10, just put it all over the lid. That is beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away with that. Jeez, what am I going to do? All right, I'm going to fluff that just out a bit, blow it out just a bit, or diffuse it a bit. Alright, now we're going to darken the outer corner here. What are we going to darken that with? I reckon we've got a few shades here. We've got, so we used, um, we used Suck. Uh, I reckon, oh, there's some beautiful colours here. I reckon we go with um, Licorice here to sort of darken it. That's what we're going to try. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed that I don't destroy this. All right, tap it off. We're just going to deepen that outer corner. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Very similar tone, actually. Not too bad. <clears throat> As I said, I'm a makeup artist. Probably not going to do this justice. You know what? I might actually take some um some of the yellow called wow and see if i can blend that up or whether that's going to make me look sick 
just going to go for like a sunset type vibe here and probably not going to pull it off, but I'm going to try. Mm. Not too bad. I need a packing brush, I reckon. I want that um, socket to be more. Yeah, like that. Socket doesn't really translate on my eye the way it does in the palette. Like, it's, um, in the, in the palette it's more orange, but on my eye it's sort of like a pinky orange. I don't know. Hmm. I like it. Don't get me wrong. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know whether I want to put, like, a, um, a shimmer over it or keep it as a, um, keep it as a matte. I think I'm going to put a shimmer over it. I think... We've got a couple of options here. Um, we have, uh, what have we got? We've got orange, mm, we've got orange juice right here. And we've got lemon drop. I don't want to do the yellow. Um, ooh, we've also got and what, which is more of a rainy sort of. Let's try the orange juice first. I'm going to use my finger and see how this works. Oh. Looks a bit chunky though. Alright, let's just. I'm getting some fallout, some major fallout. Mm. Although I really, really, really like this. Oh, some serious fallout. Let me see if I can brush this away with. I don't know. Mmm, Houston, we have a problem. Uh oh. Note to self, you're going to use Jeffree Star, do your eyes first. I don't hate that. I don't know if you can see that. I don't hate that. All right, I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. It's very, very bright. Maybe I'll do some under the eye as well. Yeah, yeah. Especially since I've got that fallout underneath there. So I'll be back. All right, guys, I wouldn't say that this is my best look ever. Remembering, not a makeup artist. But look. Whilst I don't think that this is my best look ever, I gotta say I do love those um, shadows from the Jeffrey Star from the Jeffrey Star palette, the Jawbreaker palette. At least I haven't tried anything else. Um, but yeah, just do it first because I definitely. I mean, I had fallout everywhere. I'm not sure. I kind of look sick, don't I? Like not sick as in like uh, sick, awesome, but like sick, sick. <laughs> Any hoosies. Um, I'm going to actually use some more Jeffree Star products. Uh, I am going to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Skin Frost in Ice Cold. I'm going to put that in the corners of my eyes and my tear ducts. Actually, just a little bit. Um, try and make that sort of pop, just a bit. Hmm. The um, fine lines are starting to come through. I'm going to figure something out with that. Sometimes makeup, I feel, makes me look older. And I don't know whether that's a user error or product error or whatever, but I digress. Anyway, I am going to put some um, mascara on. I am using the Essence Lash Princess uh, False Lash Effect Mascara. It is my favourite. I really need to throw this out and get something new though, um, and I'm probably, to be honest with you, I'm probably going to go and get this because everything else that I've tried sucks, and um, I don't want to waste big bucks on big brand uh, mascaras that are shit, so <laughs> that's why I'm going to use this. So let me get this on and um, I'll get back to you. I love this stuff. I find that I only need one coat, personally for me. All right, so now, last thing. I normally, before I put my mascara on, would spray this down um, with like just a, just a spray, not a setting spray, like a Mario Badescu um, facial spray or something like that, and then just use my uh, my blender and sort of meld everything in. I've just done my mascara, though, so I'm not going to do that right now. So you know what? Let's do lipstick. 
I think we're going to go with a Kaleidos lipstick. Um, I really don't know what to put on. I'm thinking that I might put on Sienna. It's got some sort of like orangey sort of tones to it. More brownie, but it's got a little bit of orangey in it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with Sienna. I don't know if it's going to work, but that's what we're doing. I love this stuff too. I'll explain more in a minute. Alright, so, I'm not very good at putting on this. Now, I will explain. I love this formula, not because of how it goes on, um, but how it feels on. So, I find this, personally, a little bit difficult to put on because it's kind of um, moussey, and I'm not very good with uh, moussey formulas, putting them on my lips, to be honest with you. I'm better with sort of like a matte formula, something that's got a little bit of tug. That's my jam. Um, liquid lips and moussey sort of textures I find very difficult to put on. I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, but this feels great on. Um, I love their colours and it just stays on for quite some time. And the fade down is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Now the last thing I'm going to do, because my mascara should be dry by now, I am just going to splash myself with this Mario Badesco Facial spray with aloe sage and orange blossom. This is neither here nor there, but it's cheap, so I just buy it because I like to spray down and um, I guess unify everything, sort of um, meld everything into the skin, so to speak. So give me a second. That first spray down was a bit aggressive. And I just grab my aloe sponge and then just sort of mold everything in. It's probably an unnecessary step, but I just feel that it just works better. And if there's any sort of harsh lines with the um, the contouring or the blush or anything like that, I just feel like it just works better. So um, this is the completed look. This is what I'm going to record my next video with. Um, it's a bit much for me, to be honest with you. I probably wouldn't go down my local shops looking like this just because it's not really... Um, <laughs> it's not supermarket kind of makeup for me, I guess. Um, but if the outfit was all right, um, hmm, I don't find anything really wrong with this. I would wear this like going out or something like that. But anyway, if you like what you saw, fabulous. Uh, I do hope to catch you in my next video. Uh, I have some beauty products that I want to talk to you about, some things that are coming out. Um, so that would be the uh, new makeup hangover. So uh, I don't know if this is going to go first, that's going to go first, whatever. I hope to see you in my next few videos. Bye guys.